What's up guys, this episode we're going to be talking about testing your active job integrations. So when you're writing tests for your code with normal stuff, you're just executing the code, making a request, calling a method, and checking if the results are correct. But that gets a bit more complicated when you start doing things in background jobs. When you make a request, you might have things say, everything is good, but it actually hasn't done the work yet because the work is in a background job. Or you might call a method and it will just not do anything, seemingly, because that work gets kicked off in a background job there as well. So how do we test those? Well, first thing is we can actually kick off the background job directly, run it as if it's not a background job. And then the other thing that we can do is we can actually check and make sure that our controllers or our methods are queuing up the jobs. And then we can have a helper to run those background jobs in line so we can run our tests. So let's take a look at an example where we might want to use that. Now, the most important thing here is that the active job test helpers are something you have to include in your test suite in certain places so you have access to these helper methods. So we're gonna take a very, very simple example and this after create, when we create a rating in our net promoter score application, we'll actually go and update the person as well. We might wanna send off an email or something like that, do extra processing. So it'd be better if we actually took this after create and created a background job for that. So we're going to keep this example very simple, but we want to launch a background job that runs this line of code instead. So let's go ahead and generate a job for that. So we'll say update person job and create that and we will have now a job file here. So let's grab this line of code here and we'll kick off the update person job. Say perform later. We're going to have a the person ID and the score to that uh, job. And then this arguments will be the person ID and the score. So then this job is going to simply call person.find person ID dot update score and set that to the score. So that's all our job's going to do, but now we're gonna have broken our test because we have previously written a test for the rating down here at the bottom that says we can update the person score cache when a rating is created. So here we create a rating and our person score is supposed to be updated to nine, but it will not be. So let's run our test suite and we'll say rails test models rating test dot RB. And this test is now going to be failing because we are not running that job. Now the test helper for the active job code um, has a perform and queued jobs method that you can call. So one of the cool things about this is we can go into our tests here and include active job test helper at the top. And before we call person.score, we can run our job and then we can reload the person and then ask for the score. And what that will do is actually run the job inline and then our tests will be passing again. Now, some other helpful methods here are going to be that we can assert that jobs were in queued, we can assert that jobs were performed, and we can even assert that uh, jobs were in queued with a specific argument. So we can have this assert in queued with around our ratings create so we can say a certain queued with job is update person job and we can do a block around that and add an extra assertion to make sure that that enqueues the job and it does. We can even go a step further here and make sure that this job was enqueued with the correct argument. So you might queue up two different jobs and you might want to assert that two different jobs with different arguments were passed in. So for this one, we are expecting the person.id and the number nine to be passed in as our arguments. And if we run this, we will see that our tests pass. And if we were to give this the wrong number and save that, our tests will have failed. So there you go. We have now verified that our job is getting enqueued. Then we can run that job and then verify that our uh, score has been updated correctly. 
Now we can even create tests for the jobs themselves. These are gonna be pretty straightforward because we're just simply going to call the job directly. So if we wanted to grab a person and we will grab that from our people, fixtures, we can then create a test to update score. Um, and this one, we'll just have the update person job dot perform now. So we wanna call this immediately and process that in line. Then we can say at person dot ID is nine. And then if we assert equal that nine is equal to at person dot reload dot uh, score, then this test should find the matching score here. And the reason we're doing this reload is because we've loaded up the variable and our background job is doing some work on it and modifying it in the database, but our instance variable is not actually getting updated because that stuff is being loaded from the database in a different instance inside of the job. So we need to actually reload this from the database when we check those values. So if we run our test now, rails, test, test jobs, update person job test, that test will be passing. Now there's also these other helpers you can see here, Q adapters for test and the assert perform jobs. Um, so if you wanna just check and see if there was one job performed, you could go to that other rating test as well. And you could say, here, let's make sure that only one drop job was run here and that you didn't queue up two. We can run Rails test, test models rating again, and make sure that only one job was run for that code. So that is all there is to it. Active job is a lot easier to test than you might think because it's just a different set of code you need to run. We have to make sure that we trigger that code and check and make sure that it got queued up correctly in our test suite. So it's a little bit more complicated than normal, but it's really not too bad and just adds a little bit to your test suite. So that is it for this episode. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.